I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Eat. Super excited today. I've got peppers. I you know, Listen, there are certain initials that you can just kind of see the initials next to a pepper, like CS, Chad Selesky, uh, DM, Dave Miner. Um, there's just a whole bunch. But when you see M-A next to a pepper creation, you know that you've got something special. M-A is my friend Matthew Arthur. Uh, Matthew and his wife Carla are amazing people there. Matt, listen, Matthew is a... Listen, there are growers and then there are creators. The guy is a creator. He's one of the most fascinating people I know, and I'm not even playing. I've never met him personally. He's on my bucket list of people that I've got to meet. I've, I've just got to meet this guy, and I've got to meet his wife. <clears throat> he's just a fascinating person. He's interesting to talk to. He's just super intelligent. And he's just, if there's ever been a dude that's in this, in the game, for the right reason, it's Matthew Arthur. He is not in this to make money. He is in this to create and to share his passion. For that, I love the guy. I really do. Uh, but I've got two of his just absolutely legendary peppers, and these came from him. The reason it's exciting, a lot of people grow these peppers that you can see them around. The, the Wartrix, and the Wartrix Yellow. But... Matthew grew these and sent them to me. I got them yesterday. So anytime you get something from Matthew, it's sort of a thrill. I'm a pepper nerd, so I'm kind of geeking out right now. It is what it is. This is the Wartrix Red. Just beautiful. And here is the gorgeous yellow variant of the Wartrix. Just a spectacular pepper. Really is. And... Uh, for a bunch of reasons. I'm going to get into it in a second, but let me describe this to you. Um, the the, um, the Wartrix is a super hot pepper. It's created, uh, it's the M.A. Wartrix, created by Matthew Arthur. Um, and again, you'll always see M.A. by the, the pepper. If you ever see that, just know that it's, a, it's something special. Um, this pepper is a cross between a Trinidad Scorpion a seven pot Jonah and a Uba Tuba Kambuchi. It has a scotch bonnet or a kind of a mushroom uh, shape. Um, very rough and bumpy texture. The M.A. Wartrix variant sometimes has a, a point protruding from the bottom of the pepper, like you see there. Um, it can sometimes grow larger there. Over a million Scoville Hevis uh, to a million two, a million three. They're very, very hot. Um, they taste great, but there's they, it has one of the great textures. There's a different texture of this pod. It crunches like an apple. Um, it really is spectacular. So I'm going to do a uh, kind of a taste and heat comparison with the two peppers. That could be a thumbnail. Is that our thumbnail, people? No. Um, so let me cut this pepper open and show you a cross cut of the interior. <laughs> One of the favorite uh, parts for me about this pepper, and it sounds silly, I mean, it tastes great, it's hot, but the uh, texture of it to me. It reminds me so much of an orange, and you can't believe what this place smells like right now. I haven't opened them, meaning I just cut them, but they're still together, and this room smells like peppers, and the blade is very, very oily from the, uh, from the interior of these peppers. Here's just absolute classic sh uh, interior of a Wartrix. It's very thick. Let me take a picture of this on my phone. Maybe I'll put this on Instagram today. I haven't put a picture on Instagram in a while. My bad, as they say. Pretty good picture right there, actually. All right, 
right, so one more time, I'm going to show you the interior. Before I cut it, I'm going to uh, show you the, before I eat it, I'm going to show you the interior of the yellow one. Because it's going to be virtually identical to that as far as the structure inside and how that really is. But the difference in aroma is staggering, all right? Now, as far as the aroma is concerned, Everybody's gonna say, you always rub your face and your eyes. I never get stuff in my eyes. I rarely do, but. Okay, this smells, it has that super hot chinense aroma. It smells fruity and just very, very hot. This has the same aroma, but super citrusy. There are very, very citrusy, lemony notes in this one. Oh. Okay, so uh, let me take a picture of the yellow one also because it's just so amazing looking. Okay. I'll put those pepper, these pictures up on Instagram, so check them out later. Uh, but we're going to eat the red one first. This is the M.A. Wartrix by Matthew Arthur. Super excited about this. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. You hear that crunch? It's like chewing up an apple. That tastes so good. I think we can agree, like sweet and peppers, no one's gonna be upset about that. Sometimes bitter, people don't appreciate that or floral, that there's not a single note or flavor in that pepper that's disagreeable. I just got a message from Matthew right now. I'm gonna read this to you. The thing about the Wartrix, they've never been tested um, baseline of the plant. Was a Trinidad Scorpion, Seven Pot Jonah, and the Ubatuba Kombuchi. Uh, made at Sunny Border Nursery by me. Uh, and some people will argue that the Ubatuba Kombucha, the way it got made was putting the plants in front of beehives. It's a natural creation, he just added the plants. Wow, thank you, Matthew. Okay, so. There's no flavors in there that are disagreeable. There's no bitterness. Um, it's just a delightful pepper. It's, um, it was fruity and just very, very hot. Um, the burn is on my tongue. The sides of my tongue are blistered, just super hot. But just a lovely burn. I mean, a really lovely burn. It's very hot. Um, I totally believe that's a million. Matthew's a good dude. All right, so the heat on that's still building. Um, <clears throat> it's no question a piping hot pepper. Um, so a non-chili head would not want to try to eat this. You could eat a very, very small sliver of it, and you get an idea of the flavor and the heat, but if you ate the whole thing, be, you'd, you'd bum out. If you are a chili head and you eat this, it's going to rank up there. It's going to be, this is a, for the average chili head, this is going to be like an eight, a seven and above. It's a hot pepper. It's a very, very hot pepper. The burn is, you know what's interesting? I don't ever remember them having a sting. This almost has a sting like a habanero. I mean, it's burning, but there's sort of a sting quality to it. There really is. But lovely, very, very nice pepper. Now we're gonna switch over. We're gonna eat the yellow one. The yellow one is just beautiful on the inside. Look at that. Very, very cool looking pod. 
And I'm telling you, when I tell you it's citrusy, put your smell vision on. If you got smell vision, put it on and get a whiff of that. Camera by Robbie Robbie Vision. Robbie, I love you, dude. You smell that? Citrusy? Very, very beautiful smelling. All right, and this one has the little point that grows on the tip, like that. All right, so we're gonna eat this now. This is the Yellow Wartrix by Matthew Arthur. Wow. I, if I had a pile, like a big, big pile of those in front of me, I would eat them until I got hurt, until I hurt myself. They taste, that was one of the best tasting yellow peppers. You know why? Some yellow peppers have the yellow pepper flavor, the citrusy, but they lack that crunch. That The crunch of a Wartrix is so special. It's like chewing up an apple. It's got the greatest quality crunch. It's crisp and just amazing. And it is lemony. It is sweet, super fruity. That is, and I love yellow peppers. I mean, I always do. But it's one of the best yellow peppers I've tasted in a long time. That was spectacular. The heat is probably not quite as hot as the red. It's not. But, but the flavor is, if you're a pepper fan, the flavor of that you'll just be so happy with, you know what I mean? It really, really does taste nice. It's fruity and sweet. And the sweetness of the yellow one carried through from the beginning to the end. A lot of times you get a, a flavor like sweetness or, or even the fruitiness sometimes can fade quickly, but the best flavors seem to fade the quickest, it seems like. So a lot of times when you get a pepper that's sugar, it's sugary, it's sweet, that sweet will dissipate and fade like that. And it won't carry through all the way while you're chewing it. And that yellow pod, from the moment I popped it in my mouth until the very, very end, was sweet. Um, and you know, this is the reason you want a high tolerance. I kid you not, because you'll taste these things. Do you realize if you're a brand new Chilean and you just started the game and you ate that whole pod, you wouldn't taste what I'm tasting? Because you'd be overcome with pain really quickly. And you aren't able to process flavors when you're in pain. You're focused on the pain. So, you know, because people always say, well, what's the point of eating all that? It's not a, you know, is it a bravado thing? I like tasting more. It's nothing to do with bravado. It's not who can eat the hottest. It's I want to taste more. And that yellow pot is just a spectacular example. If your tolerance was low... You would eat that pot, it would be hot, but you wouldn't taste the greatest tasting pepper because your tolerance is loaded. Here's a, way, a great thing, a way to think of it. Your window of opportunity to taste something, if you're a brand new chili head, is this big. Because when you put that in your mouth, that's how long it takes before pain is all over the place and you've lost your ability to taste. That's what happens. It's that big. It's a really small window. When you have a big tolerance, your tolerance is really high, my window's like that. I could eat those pods all day and still taste them. And, and I can also detect different heat. I could be the fifth pepper I'm eating. I'll tell you if it's hotter or less hot than the ones I've already eaten. People say, how do you do that? I don't know, but I'm telling you, I can do it. And I can do it because my tolerance is high. And people with a high tolerance can tell you the same thing. You know, you can detect hotter and milder and flavors. It doesn't matter how many peppers you eat. So I've had pod con uh, you know, challenges where I'm eating like 10 or 15 peppers or 20 peppers. I taste every one of them. And it's beautiful because every one of them are subtly different. No, no, even two peppers from the same plant can vary. But as far as the heat, those are very, very hot peppers. Um, that they would, you know, first of all, they're just great tasting peppers. They would make, so no matter what you use them in, they're going to be great. They make a great sauce. They make a great powder. But the yellow one in particular would make such an amazing powder. 
That really is an amazing tasting pepper. The quality of the texture and the flavor of it, it's just a winner all around. So those, that's a heat and taste comparison between a Wartrix and a MA Wartrix and an MA Wartrix Yellow. Now I have, a, I have other pods, I have some Hogwarts from them that I'm gonna be eating, I'm do, doing some more uh, reviews tomorrow. I also have some additional, he sent me more Wartrix, more, I have more yellow and more red. So I might do uh, a challenge. The only problem with doing a challenge with these peppers are they taste so good, I don't wanna just eat them all in one sitting and have them be gone. I kind of like to be able to munch on them throughout the day because they they taste so good. But I might do that anyway. But that was a review of the M.A. Wartrix Red and Yellow from Matthew Arthur, the man himself. So, Matthew, I want to thank you personally for growing them. Thank you for the contribution you make to the Chile community, and thank you for being my friend. What a good dude. Um, in the description box, you're going to see a link. Um, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to put a link for Matthew. I'm going to ask him. Uh, if he wants a link, if he if he's okay with me putting a link in the description box for him, you will see it. If if he does, if you don't see the link, it's because he didn't want me to put it in there. But he probably will. Great, legendary grower, no joke. And you know I don't like the L word. Dude's a legend. <laughs> he really is. So at the bottom, you're going to see links uh, to my son Johnny Scoble Jr. and the Lifeboat. The Lifeboat is a great channel if you're trying to put your life back together, honest to goodness. So if you're, you got some issues you want to try to solve, you'll get tons of support and help and friends and what we all need at that channel. So please check it out. Up on top, you're going to have Pepperology, which is a, a series designed for the brand new Chili Head. It's really exciting and it talks about all kinds of questions that you as a brand new Chili Head are always wondering or asking. They're answered there. So please check out uh, Pepperology. And the other one you'll find up on top are all the challenges I've done since this journey began. Uh, there's 580 of them, so please check them out. And if you haven't checked out the playlist, do it. It's about as well organized as you can for 6,000 videos. But thank you for hanging out with me. It's gonna be a beautiful day. A lot of great writing to do today. Tell somebody you love them, because I love you. My name is Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.